I mean, there wouldn't be much of a show, but like still, you know, at some point you see Johan and he comes face to face with you. Just pull out your gun, bang, before he even says anything. Oh, you're Johan? Oh, yes. Well, if it isn't Inspector Lung... <laughs> oh, I hear you were looking for me, Inspector Lung... <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't you, once again, come to watch another episode of Monster. Episode 50 this time, the big ol' 5 -0. I cannot believe we're already at episode 50. I mean, Jesus. 50 episodes of the show, gone in a blink of an eye. However, the show must go on, as they say. Previously on episode 49, uh, it, it was kind of a very polarizing episode. A very critical thing that happened, which was Lunge was talking to the old woman, the mother of, uh, you know, Jan Suk on these balls. And the mother actually, in one of the greatest uh, twists of fate, the woman saw through Johan's disguise and could tell that it was a guy. Now, it is possible that when Johan was recording over the recording in, in the, 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 the old woman's room, the old woman was like, uh, that's a guy's voice. That is possible, but still doesn't matter because she told Lunge. And now Lunge knows that Johan can disguise himself as a woman, which means the critical information that I was talking about in previous episodes where, you know, the crux of the problem will be that, that Johan can disguise himself per perfectly as someone else. Like, as long as people don't know about that ability, it's always going to be super difficult to catch Johan. Everything will just be blamed on Nina. But now that someone knows that's, that he can disguise himself, now everything that would be blamed on Nina could be looked at as if, well, it was just Johan in disguise because we know he can do that. Uh, and then the rest of the episode uh, was, I wasn't a fan of. Uh, they basically, uh, Johan basically kidnapped a little child and then uh, convinced him to like, go to a red light district to look for his mother and said that if you don't find your mother, uh, kill yourself or something. And the child was brainwashed so easily and, and then Grimmer managed to talk him out of, you know, doing the, the doing the sewer slide. But, you know, I, I just didn't buy it. I, I didn't buy it. I, I thought it was shit. I, I thought it was pointless. Most likely just a, just a tool to flesh out Grimmer and his uh, problem with emotions. Regardless, let's just get into episode 50, the big O, the big 5-0. Just like the castle in Sleeping Beauty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. It's Anna. My name is Anna Liebert. My name is Suk on these you balls. Go get him, Mr. Detective. <gasps> Anna. Were you dreaming just now, Detective Suk? On these balls. Who are you? Inspector Lunge. I work out of the German BKA office. What do you want with me? Calm down. You don't have to get up. Relax. Nobody sent me to arrest you. I haven't even met with anyone in your division. You've been assigned a very nice room. I went to set. How did Lunge get here? No, really. I suppose they let him out of the, uh, you know, the secret police hospital place but like if they transported him back to a normal hospital and Lunge can just easily find out where he is what's stopping the police from coming and arresting him you know like huh how did Lunge find him i know everything you've been up to since you joined the prog division inspector zaman who had close ties to the secret police was beaten to death the Prague station chief and two detectives were killed with poison whiskey bonbons. Two investigators from a special task force who were tailing you were found shot. And at the moment, you are being pursued as the most likely suspect in all of these cases. 
If you were to be judged on circumstantial evidence alone, then you'd be the murderer. No, I'm not. I'm completely innocent. Then what about that thin, lanky fellow named Grimmer who Inspector Zaman brought in for questioning the day before his murder? Mr. Grimmer didn't kill anybody either. He's not that kind of person. So then, who is the killer? If I knew who it was, this wouldn't be happening to me. Oh my god, so many people have stabbed me in the back. Now I find myself being framed for murder, and all the police want to do is lock me up. I've had enough of this. Damn it, I'm so tired of being betrayed. Would, would Suk on these nuts know that Anna is the killer? I did think that maybe he could put together the, the, you know, oh, the children saw a beautiful blonde lady uh, leaving the crime scene. And then there was a blonde lady over there as well. There was, there's this blonde, beautiful blonde girl, you know, and obviously he has, he's been, you know, meeting with Anna, right? So I thought that maybe he would be, be able to put two and two together, but like, I mean, there's bound to be more, uh, beautiful blonde ladies, right? He did tell Anna about the mother and all the other stuff about the case. So maybe, but like, still, uh, I don't know. I don't think he has enough information. Maybe. Act like it. it is possible. It is possible that he could put the, the information together and suspect Anna. I have to calmly dissect and scrutinize everything. Dig up the truth as rationally as you can, even if you have to sacrifice your own happiness in the process. There is really only one way to prevent yourself from being betrayed. All you have to do is doubt the person you believe in the most. Very on-the-nose thing to say from Lunge. Who the hell said you had permission to be here? I want a meeting with your boss. Tell him I want to talk to him about the Red Rose Mansion. It's safe to say he'll want to meet with me right away. You know, I think this guy is going to die. He's He's been showing up too much, and he knows too much. Vacations. Two years ago, wasn't it? Your relentless ways drove the secretary of Mr. Boltzmann, a candidate to lead the German Democratic Party, to suicide. You have to be a lot smarter than that to move up in the world. You asked to see me, so what does a clever man like you want? An answer. As you already know, I'm on a long vacation, but it's not entirely just a pleasure trip. I'm here looking for something. I'm looking for an embodiment of true fear. I want to find out if a real demon was born in that illusion that you created during the reign of the old regime. Ah, you're referring to the Rose Mansion, aren't you? You know, seeing seeing Lunge on Johan's trail makes me think to myself, God, I hope that Lunge does not die. It is likely that he will die, probably towards the end, but... I think if there's one person who can kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Johan, it's Lunge. Like, it's not a matter of one person being smarter than the other. It's more like Johan is doing his thing, and then Lunge, he gives off the same feeling, the same vibe as Johan, but like more of a uh, more of a cold and calculated type. Also, God, my my I don't know if I have allergies or something, but like I've been feeling kind of sick again. My uh, I would say I think my illness kind of like resurfaced. Might might have to like stop working out for a while. Maybe maybe because I'm pushing myself too much. Quite a bit. I guess we'll the see. Man who wrote this picture book years ago used many pen names. The name he used when he wrote the nameless monster was Emil Sherbe. You finally arrived at Franz Bonapartes. Strange place to live, the Rose Mansion. Franz Bonaparte. I wanted to know who he was. No matter how hard I searched, I wasn't able to turn up anything on him. That could only mean one thing, that Bonaparte was one of you, that he's a former member of the Czechoslovakian secret police. Tell me what it is you want to know. That's simple. 
I want to know everything you know. I know nothing. However... However? There is something. I've consciously been trying to forget. And that is the fact that the Rose Mansion ever existed at all. I've avoided thinking about it. That's why it still stands there, empty and untouched. All of the political prisoners who were taken there, as well as the entire research staff, just disappeared one night. It's interesting. Could this Franz guy be like the monster's predecessor? In a way, I guess? Dude. If it turns out, if it turns out that I fucking called it from episode fucking two, where there was a unoriginal monster of, of like someone who like, oh my God, it could be right. Because Franz, this Franz guy seemed to be in charge of everything somehow for some reasons, like even this guy doesn't doesn't know why. Right. And some weird shit happening at the Rose Mansion where he apparently lived or whatever. And then he also uh, like took uh, the twin, the mother of the twins and as well as Johan. I'm pretty sure, like, took them from their apartment. Imagine. If it turns out that this Franz guy did brainwash Johan and made him into this, this, this fucking fucked up whatever the fuck he is now, bro, I called that from episode two or something. I, I'm pretty sure I, I called, like, an original monster, someone who taught Johan to be bad. The idea that a child just happens to be born, like, so smart and so evil yeah i get it we're all born evil but like still you know like no no child would just automatically be that smart what's the reason for the plastered wall what wall i went in yesterday there was no sign of anyone setting foot in there the mansion was completely unoccupied and looked to have been abandoned for some time but the north wall on the second floor it looks like it was coated with plaster, as though someone was trying to conceal something. With your permission, I'd like to tear that wall down. What are you afraid of? I'm afraid you might die. If you get any closer, you and I may end up facing an unimaginable experience of true fear. Come on, man. At the end of the day, Johan's just a fucking human, bro. Just shoot him in the head, be done with it. You know? I mean, there wouldn't be much of a show, but, like, still, you know, at, at some point, you see Johan, and he comes face to face with you, just pull out your gun and bang! You know? Before he even says anything. Because you know he's gonna fucking try to brainwash you. Right? Just... Oh, you're Johan? Oh, yes. Well... If it isn't Inspector Lunga- Oh, I hear you were looking for me, Inspector Lunga- <laughs> That's funny. Using a shovel for this? That's- No, just no. And it looks like it's pure, uh, concrete as well. No. Just- Just no. I mean, I- I get it, it's anime and they don't- care about the details here but like <laughs> this this is not gonna happen you can try but it's not gonna happen this is like you know it's not like you have nen this isn't hunter hunter where they use nen on their shovels and they you know break through walls and shit and, and pure rock you're not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna get through a fucking wall like this this thick with a fucking shovel you need the actual you need actual like tools because I've done, I've done, uh, I've done, like, renovations where we, uh, basically took an entire, uh, entire wall down of a house and we built a, a new bathroom for this building. It had, like, water damage and we replaced, uh, like, one of the support beams under, under the house as well as, like, the entire wall. We had to, like, break apart some of the, the, some of the ground, the floor of the, uh, of the house which was like pure fucking concrete and we we had like actual tools for it like uh like electrical tools you know like uh, fucking concrete breaking uh you know the 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 sledgehammer not sl well we had sledgehammers as well but like we had the actual like like 
I don't know what you call it, the 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 fucking electrical smasher that just kind of smashes very fast um, and is used to break concrete and stuff. But even that was kind of taking a long time. So like you you'd never do that with a fucking shovel. If anything, the shovel would break before you even made a dent. There's a door without a door handle. Why are you doing so slowly, bro? Just smash it open. Oh my god, you're not gonna show us, are you? Goodness, heaven heard that. Oh my god. I wonder if you can tell me more about him. Like, what kind of person he was. He would come here to my home. We would discuss his work and sometimes rewrite sections of it. Ah, yes. He'd sit in that chair in the same position you're in now. Often he would take a break and play in the garden with my daughter. I didn't think anything of it at the time, but my daughter said something strange. She said, Papa, that man is scary. <laughs> However, there was something about him. I guess it was his manners, the way he spoke, the clothes he wore, and the kindness that seemed out of place from the officials of the old regime. Bonaparte was a practicing psychiatrist and also a medical doctor. Well, well, well. If it isn't Fonrath, the god of prediction. Dude, okay, it's not confirmed yet, yet. But if it turns out that there was some guy, maybe the father or whatever, that taught Johan to be as smart as he is, like with the medicines and stuff, I, t I told you. There was an original monster, I fucking knew it! Because it, 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 it seems like there was an original monster. Now granted, yes, yes, <clears throat> I might have been wrong about the fact that, you know, the original monster didn't help out Johan when he was young in the hospital, killing the, 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 the hospital director and whatnot, right? Sure, I might have been wrong about that one. That still didn't mean that the original monster didn't exist, right? The, the whole point was that there was some sort of mentor, someone who mentored Johan to be how he is now. Any warning. He wanted to talk about a new book. Oh my goodness. How happy he appeared to be at the time. The new book. What was it about? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was about a monster falling in love. It was strange. It was almost like a combination of Beauty and the Beast and Sleeping Beauty. <clears throat> A monster falling in love. Oh, you mean a guy who seems to have some very weird things going on around him, who seems to have a bunch of influence over secret police, uh, seems to have some weird rumors about him, uh, falls in love with a woman, a woman who might have been very pretty and blonde, and then maybe had two children, a monster that fell in love, ah? Uh? Ah, uh, the original monster? Yeah? Yeah? Of course I vetoed him on the spot. Son of a then bitch. Then he turned to look me in the eye. It's a story about a door that must not be opened under any circumstances. I asked him if paradise was on the other side, or if a monster would come through the door. And he said, no, you can't open the door. So I guess there's no story. He laughed when he said that, and then he was gone. And that was the last time I ever saw him. I'm guessing he's talking about the door that Lunge just opened. Were you able to find out anything interesting or helpful about Bonaparte? Nope. A little, but not as much as I hoped. Mr. Grimmer, what are you doing here? Have you been following me around? Is this the police department? My name is Zobok. I live on Schweig Court in a private residence. A suspicious man just left my home. Well, I'm pretty certain he's the primary suspect in the serial murders that occurred in Germany. 
Yes, he's Japanese, and he looks like that neurosurgeon, Dr. Tenma. I guess, I mean, that's kind of cool to see because uh, we've gone a long time without anyone recognizing him. But then again, I suppose, you know, as more time passes, the less news coverage um, there's going to be about him because that's kind of how the news is, right? The news often focuses on more recent events. Ethanol. The smell of disinfectant. Does you not have a flashlight? I actually would not do this if I was Lunge. The reason I wouldn't do this is because if a win if there's a window that's boarded up, that means that you can see from the outside that there is a room that's boarded up. And if Johan were to see this or someone who knows what's going on with this room sees that the boards are not there anymore, they might know to, I don't know, go kill the guy who just opened the door. The thing is, ooh, every I, man, every time I see Lunge in his, in his like natural habitat of like, you know, in in his fucking zone of trying to figure things out, I imagine what would happen if Lunge and Johan met. I I don't think that Johan would be able to brainwash Lunge. I hope that's not going to happen ever, because I think the way Lunge is, Johan's like quote-unquote brainwashing ability just doesn't really work on him because like johan manipulates people's emotions and stuff like that as we've seen with with whenever he like manipulates children and and people right lunge is like he analyzes right and if you know that you're face to face with johan you're just gonna analyze everything he's saying That's the mother, right? I've seen that woman before. She's the one from the sketchbook. Right, so Franz, yeah, this is this is the mother of the twins. Franz brought him here and kept them here. And most likely, he was the original monster maybe, and then he mentored Johan, maybe had him kill people and stuff like that. That's why he, you know, that's why Lunge was like, "Oh, how many people have died in here?" Maybe he could tell that there were like signs that people had died so i'm thinking the original monster franz tutored johan to be fucked up by having him kill people or something or maybe uh, who knows could she be the mother of the twins once once it's confirmed that this franz guy like mentored johan to be how he is now I will say I fucking told you so. Huh? Ugh. I'm just thinking about what lies ahead for Detective Sook. He's the prime All these suspect nuts. in a murder, which means his career is over and his future is pretty much washed up as well. It's sad. Even if he were to turn himself in, how is he going to be able to prove that he's innocent? And how is he going to find any evidence to verify that the blonde lady I saw leaving his place even exists? Sook's in a similar situation to the one you're in. Except for him, there's one big difference. What? Time for us to say goodbye, Dr. Tenma. <clears throat> Only one person knows it all. Everything concerning the events incriminating Detective Sook. You're looking at him. What is this? Just a letter written by the perpetrator of the recent series of killings. I even mentioned details the police haven't released. I think it'll make a very compelling case for my being the real murderer. Ah. If you send something like this to the police, you'll be arrested. So what, he's gonna sacrifice himself? I don't think... I mean... 
it is like he can do that. But the question we have to ask ourselves, is this the correct decision to make? Right? It is an option. But is this a, the, the correct option to take? Personally, I would say no. I would say no, 100%. Because the question is, like, do you want Sook on these nuts on your team? Or do you want Grimmer on your team? Who knows more about the situation right now? And who's more useful right now? Like, if Sook was more experienced, you know, like, I, I don't know. Like, he just... And, and Sook's, like, in the hospital as well. You know, he... I, I don't know. Ah, but before that can happen, Grimmer will suddenly disappear. The police will be swift, but Grimmer will have already made his brilliant escape to Germany, say. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So he's not turning himself in. He's confessing, but uh, he's he's still... He's doing the zero of Code Geass, right? I was the real murderer, but, you know, you're not going to catch me. A pretty good spy who could slip his way out of tight spots. Think about it. You'll have no life. You'll be forced to live on the run. I'll be fine. The truth of the matter is, Grimmer never really existed in the first place. It's not who I am. It's just a name I was arbitrarily assigned one day. I guess now you'll be heading off to that Rose Mansion, am I right? Uh, that's right. You're almost at the finish line. Your search might be coming to an end any minute. I don't know. I can't be sure. Even if I tell you not to do anything rash, I suppose you won't listen. Just... be careful. I'm glad that Grimmer isn't like, Oh, Tenma, don't kill anybody! Blah, 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 right? I, I, I'm glad that Grimmer is like, Just be careful, man. You know, like, you're a good guy, don't die. If you gotta do what you gotta do, then you gotta do what you gotta do, but just try not to die. Mr. Grimmer. Remember what you said when we parted at the Czech border? Let's have a picnic when we meet again. We'll fish for rainbow trout on a beautiful day. And have good wine and cheese. I'm holding you to that. Shut your fucking trap, you little child. You're very brave. <laughs> You're Kenzo Tenma, is that correct? Who? Prague Police. Oh, we son of a bitch. Take you to the station. Son of a bitch, what now? You got captured that easily? How the fuck will he get out of this? What's gonna happen now? I did not see this coming. I will say, as I said, if it fucking turns out that the, the, the this Franz guy was the original monster, I swear to fucking God, bro. I'm a fucking God, okay? Once they say, once they confirm my suspicion of this guy was the guy who mentored Johan into what he is now, what can I say? I'm just a fucking God. It is what it is, right? I mean, <laughs> I can see the future, apparently, like, down, like, 48 episodes into the future. Jesus. Jesus. I don't really know what's gonna happen here. I mean, how, how, how is he gonna get out of this? So, someone has to bust him out, right? I mean, either something's gonna happen here, where something's gonna distract all these police officers, and he gets away or he gets taken in and then maybe at the police headquarters uh police hq like they they i don't know someone busts him out or something i i, I don't see him getting out of this i mean what the fuck do you do legitimately like, what do you do you don't you can't do anything here you're fucked tenma's fucked i guess we'll see in the next episode whether or not tenma can get out of this situation somehow i don't think he can i mean he can't continue investigating if he's fucking locked up i mean is 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 johan gonna bust him out somehow i don't know i don't know i i just don't see how he would get out of this situation regardless i hope you enjoyed episode 50 of monster who would have guessed that maybe maybe i was right about there being an original monster in any case i'll see you in episode 51 and uh yeah until then